God's Word Online The Gospel of John Bible Study Commentary John Chapter 17 Overview of John Chapter 17 In John 17, Jesus engages in a profound and intimate conversation with the Father. This prayer occurs just before his crucifixion, revealing the depths of his mission, his relationship with the Father, and his concern for the disciples, and also future believers. The chapter is structured into distinct sections, each addressing different aspects of Jesus' purpose, the disciples' role, and the unity among believers. Verses 1-5, to The Hour of His Glory, and His Authority in these verses, Jesus is acknowledging that the time has come for him to fulfill his purpose on earth, and he is asking the Father to glorify him so that he, in turn, can glorify the Father. He speaks about the authority given to him over all flesh, with the purpose of granting eternal life to those given to him by the Father. The essence of eternal life, as Jesus describes it, is knowing the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom God has sent. Additionally, Jesus reflects on his earthly ministry, expressing that he has glorified God by completing the work that the Father had sent him to do. He then requests the Father to restore the glory that he had with him before the world existed, indicating a return to his heavenly position after his earthly ministry is accomplished. Verses 6 to 10 Jesus acknowledges that the disciples were given to him by the Father. He emphasizes that he has revealed God's name to them, and that they have accepted him, and believed in the words he received from the Father. Additionally, Jesus reflects on his earthly ministry, expressing that he has glorified God, by completing the work that the Father had sent him to do. He then requests the Father to restore the glory, that he had with him, before the world existed indicating a return to his heavenly position after his earthly ministry is accomplished. Verses 11-12, Jesus prays for the unity and protection of his disciples. Now that Jesus is about to leave the world, he prays for the disciples' protection, asking the Holy Father to keep them united and secure in his name. He speaks of the one who is lost, likely referring to Judas as Cariot whose betrayal fulfills the scriptures. Verses 13 to 19, Joy, Sanctification, and Consecration Jesus expresses his joy to the disciples, stating that he has given them God's word. Despite the world's hostility, Jesus prays that the disciples would be kept from the evil one and that they would be sanctified in the truth. He consecrates himself for their sake, desiring their sanctification. Verses 20-23, Jesus prays for unity beyond the disciples who were with him. Jesus expands his prayer to include not only the disciples who were with him, but also future disciples who would believe in him, through their word. He prays for the unity of all believers, just as there is unity between him and the Father. Jesus wants the world to recognize God's sending of him through the unity and love among his disciples. Verses 24 to 26, Jesus' desire for unity and the revelation of God's love. Jesus expresses his desire for those given to him by the Father to be with him and behold his glory. He continues to speak about knowing God and making God's name known to others. The ultimate goal is for the love of God, that is in Jesus, to also be in his disciples. This prayer reflects Jesus' deep concern for his disciples and all who would come to believe in him, emphasizing unity, protection, and the knowledge of God's love and truth. Summary In this powerful prayer, Jesus articulates his mission, the disciples' role, and the broader unity among believers. He seeks glory, acknowledges the disciples as a gift, prays for their protection and sanctification, 
and extends his concern to all who would believe. The prayer encapsulates Jesus' deep love, purpose, and the unity he desires among those who follow him. Please like and comment, and share this with your friends.